All right, what's up everyone? So I just got done doing a history tour here at what a magical location this has been. The old Sorrel Wheat House. Um, so I stayed here today for a guided history tour. Luckily, I was the only person on the tour, so we got to, you know, have a little bit more of a paranormal leaning, still paying attention to all the fun history that was going on. Um, let me just say, Wow, even, you know, even daytime in the middle of just a history tour, we had some insane activity going on here. Um, I brought this little guy in and they were kind enough to let me use it and even ask a few questions to interact with some of the spirits. The ones that we had the most interaction with, though, was Matilda. Um, for those of you that don't know, Matilda was actually a woman that lived here. I believe that she was part of the Weed family, and though don't don't take my word for it, I only just went through a tour. I'm not, I don't know the history of this place as well as others, but Matilda um, sadly was battling depression in the early 1800s. The solution for said depression was that they gave her heroin, basically, at, per needed. So, Matilda here, she was, you know, she was battling her, you know, fighting her fight against addiction. Or, sorry, not against addiction. My brain's scattered today. Fighting her battle against depression. And one day she called her servant, though I guess the proper term would be slave because they were slave owners at the time. But she was said to have treated her personal slave very, very well. Um, called for her, couldn't find her, and went looking through the place and actually found that her slave was in bed with, yeah, in bed with her husband. Um, it was not the decision of her servant. Um, she was forced into it. This caused poor Matilda to go into a fugal state, probably onset by the heroin they were feeding her as medication. And sadly, she went up to the third floor of the building and jumped off and took her own life from a severe brain hemorrhage 12 hours later. Um, her spirit is said to still haunt her room. Um, let me just say, we got some insane activity in there. I wish I had recorded it, but you know how it is. The moment you start recording, it stops. Sometimes they just want to be talked to. So take my word for it or don't, you know. I highly, highly recommend coming here to this beautiful, beautiful structure. Not just for the activity here but for the amazing history that is going on inside of this structure they are doing an amazing job re renovating it trust me i know with my own you know with our own struggles at hell's bar and they are doing an excellent job with it they're doing an excellent job at telling the history so yeah definitely come here do either a daytime history tour or a nighttime paranormal tour whichever one you have a more of a leaning to and have a wonderful time all right everyone stay safe love you take care be happy and i'll see you next time bye bye